Mayor, do you have any thoughts or concerns for the family of Fern Ornelas, the man paralyzed after your men arrested him? This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. You're on the board, right? Uh, yes. Got a question for you. I... Should your police be putting, turning people over to the Valley Street Jail if they're coming out paralyzed? Allegedly. Shouldn't you be answering that question? <laughs> hey, Pat, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, I got another question for you. Sure. You're always good about answering them, so I probably shouldn't be punishing you with more, but I am wondering, this actually is pretty serious. I mean, you, you've been following the situation where the guy went into police custody here and then apparently came out of the Valley Street Jail paralyzed. Yep. Should your guys, be the police, be turning people over to Valley Street Jail if that kind of thing is happening? Well, you're assuming that it happened at the police station. Right? Oh, no, I'm, I'm actually wondering if maybe it happened at the Valley Street Jail and whether the police maybe just turned him over there. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar. I haven't spoken with the chief or with uh, Mr. D Dion with the Valley Street uh, Jail, so I, I'm, I don't know how to answer that. It does sound like you're a little bit up on the situation, though, which I do well, appreciate. Well, I followed, I followed uh, well, what's in, printed in the newspaper. Right, so. yeah. I mean, do you I mean, have... I mean, it's just to find out what happened. Uh, has it's everybody else. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any concerns about the fact that so many of the people in the Valley Street Jail are victimless criminals just on drug offenses and that they're exposed uh, to this possible well, danger? Victimless, I'm not sure what that is. Drug, uh, drug related crimes, I'm not sure how victimless that is, but. Uh, well, uh, smoking I, I a weed, a, smoking I, I a bag? Have concern. <laughs> yeah, well, it's illegal to smoke weed. Well, it's, so. it was also illegal to harbor a fugitive slave in this state at one time. Sure. And so you, I. I I mean, I, I don't agree with what you're saying as far as being victimless. There, there are, I think there are victims that are uh, associated with... And you're willing to make crimes. me pay taxes to put people in that dangerous jail because they smoked a bag of weed or something? Well, they broke the law. I mean, I, I doubt that anybody's in there because they smoked a bag of weed. I think that kind of thing has actually happened. Because they smoked a bag of weed. I've seen people arrested for if just I get, smoking. If I, get caught, if I get caught smoking a marijuana joint, I'm going to be put in jail. Yeah, I've seen it happen. Okay, for one offense. Yes. Okay, I. Now they I, don't. I haven't seen it. They happen, don't so. keep you in jail for very long on the first offense. Well, Usually, it's just until your it. process. Yeah, but I've seen it happen, in, for instance, in Keene. Okay, well, we gotta reason. we gotta look at Washington and uh, Colorado, and uh, I mean, I'm in favor of uh, I'm in favor of uh, following their lead. All right. With respect well. to uh, not even to criminalize it, just recreational. And I'm in favor of you in some ways, because you okay. at least answer questions. Oh, all right, thanks. <laughs> all right, thanks, Alderman. Take care. Alderman Lavasser. How are you? I wish I could think of an adversarial question, but I can't. Adversarial? So this, so this one will have to do. Do you think it's appropriate for the Manchester police to, to put their prisoners in Valley Street Jail when crazy things like this appear to be happening to them? Well, they have to put them somewhere. Um, and I don't know enough about the facts of the case as to blame anyone. There was a ride, remember they did put the gentleman into a paddy wagon. So we don't know if anything happened at the point of being in the paddy wagon oh. and brought over to Valley Street. You know, I used to think I've been in a paddy wagon once and I thought, you know what, if there was a rollover, I, I would tumble helplessly until the fatal snap. Well, you you'd know? be actually, uh, you'd be handcuffed to the bench and when you went running over, your arm would be snapped off most likely. So. I don't know if we can say anything about what occurred. I am working diligently. I have tried every which way possible to unlock the key, to, t to have the key unlock the secrets of what's going on there. Fern Yanellis is one of the really good guys of Manchester. He had a mental illness. There's a lot to this. Um, I think the county attorney, attorney general, a lot of other people should have jumped into this thing immediately. Why they didn't, I don't know. One Nobody of them did, didn't them. they? Yeah, but much later than what I think should have been done. Oh, well, we're talking days. Government's never fast. More than, more than days. <laughs> sure. For something like really? this, when you have a paralyzed oh, oh, okay. man laying in, a, 
laid yeah. out of bed. And I think yeah. that I'm a little bit dismayed at the amount of time. But Dave Dion, the superintendent of the prison, said that none of his people touched that man. So they're doing their diligence. I wish we'd get a report as quickly as possible on there. So Do you support the presence of some kind of human rights monitors inside both the jail and the city lockup, maybe? Absolutely. Why not? I'll be asking if there about are it, people who want to be volunteer for that. I would be all for it. No It'd have to be independent. None of this I police agree. board stuff. Yeah, I agree. All right, Joe Kelly Lavasser. Thanks. Hey, do me a favor. If you hear anything, if you get any kind of information, if you find out what happened in there, you have to call me immediately. Well, I'll probably call know. my viewers and tell them all well, immediately. Call me too. I need to know. Yeah, I mean, right? I'll probably send you a link. Yeah, do me because I want to know immediately, man. I've been covering this on my radio TV show on Wednesday nights. Well, thank you. And he's a friend of mine, and I've gotten a lot of calls. And I, all I didn't know that you this. knew him. How do you say his name again? Unalis. Unalis. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. And this man will tell you right now. Oh. We're all worried about Fern. That's for sure. Yeah. Mayor, do you have any thoughts or concerns for the family of? Fern Ornelas, the man paralyzed after your men arrested him. Do you support the introduction of human rights observers into the city lockup after what happened? Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at weusecoins.com.